Sorry about that. I'm not the greatest looper in the world, but hi! Welcome to Anderton's. And uh, my name's Lee, this is all about the bass. And what a bass that we've got to talk all about today. Um, uh, you might recognize the shape, you might recognize the name up there. Uh, yeah, 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 some of you. Uh, yeah, no, these are, this is the lovely gold foil jazz bass from Fender. And as you can see, there's something new going on down here, which we'll talk about. Um, but some lovely appointments. This is a Mexican made instrument, um, standard construction, so alder body, maple neck, uh, that you'd normally find with most jazzes and P basses, as we'll get on to. Um, ebony fretboard on this, which is a nice little um, sort of premium appointment that you don't normally find. It's normally either rosewood, maple, or Indian laurel, something like that. Um, and normally, I think, until the ultra range, which is top American stuff that you get the ebony stuff. So that's nice. Obviously, vintage appointments, like I like these, like these little, I don't know, it's the only the knobs, you know, but like, say we had a, an Epiphone bass we were talking about quite recently. Uh, we might see on the channel again soon. But um, taking this like an old transistor radio kind of style of, of knobs and things, which I like, I like. Um, standard, standard sort of bridge, these lovely little tulip, Tulip um, headstock tuning pegs, which are again classic to the 60s fenders, um, but they put that on here. I want to know, I'm pretty sure that these used to be the reverse tuners, but don't worry about that. So they're just, they work as normal. So don't, don't think about that. Um, bound fretboard, as you can see, lovely bound fretboard, just to finish that off nicely. Obviously, um, tortoiseshell scratch plate, which actually I've just noticed as well is kind of built in, instead of having the control plate, like on a normal jazz, like this. Uh, it's actually built into the scratch plate, which is quite a nice little feature. Access to the truss rod under there, although I, I will be honest, that's not a lot of room. So um, proper vintage reissue, you're gonna have to take the neck off, possibly. So if that's something that freaks you out, then I don't blame you, but find a very good guitar tech like Gavin that's here and uh, they'll be able to sort that out for you if you ever need a setup. But that's one thing I have just noticed They've started well, they've given you an access point, but not enough room to get to it. So there we go, just a little feature I've seen there. Um, so the main thing to shout about is this gold foil pickup, which is a single coil pickup, not to get confused with actual gold foil pickups, which are a little bit differently designed, but this is a single coil in a gold foil housing. So it's gonna give you a slightly different variation of tone, obviously with, uh, with this. So, and as you've noticed, there's not two of them, like you'd normally go on a jazz, there's just the one. Just the uno. So one volume, one tone, nice and simple. So I think that's enough waffling from me. I'm going to play the thing and then I'm going to compare it to what you get out of a standard P bass and jazz bass in the player range as well, just so you can get an idea. Um, I'll probably just do the neck pickup on, on the jazz as well instead of getting too complicated because that's where the most comparison is going to be. So, so this is the Gold 4 Jazz. Let me show you what we got. Wrong 
and turn off a little bit. And tone completely off. But some lovely sounds, some lovely sounds that this thing makes. Um, obviously, yeah, quite kind of like a P bass, you know, um, as, as in just one, one pickup. Um, but it doesn't sound like a P bass to me. It sounds uh, slightly different, but we'll put that to a test. And just before I do that, I should mention that most of the player series has come along with this satin finish now on the back of the neck instead of gloss. So you've got gloss body, satin back of the neck, which does feel, I just feel more worn in and more played in. So that's a nice little feature. So um, you'll have all that on these as well. Yeah, if you fancy one of those. But let me swap over to a P bass. Two secs. Okay, so play a P bass. Let's give you some tones. So full tone, full volume, sounds like this. Half tone. No tone. Turn off. A jazz bass. Now, uh, just to point out, this is the player plus top, which just means that this has got a maple top on it. So it technically will be a slightly different sound, but it's a jazz bass. And I'm just gonna use the neck pickup. So I'm gonna turn that off. So you're only hearing the neck. So we're comparing in the same sort of position of pickups, right? So. Limited edition, links below. Yes, there we go. Limited edition, links below, there we go. Half tone. And tone off. Sure what happened there anyway right so this is doing something different right i mean I don't, hopefully you can hear with me like um, i say i'm a bit of a jazz bass fender nut so maybe i'm hearing things you know slightly amplified in my ears but i can really feel that this is doing something different um 
mids. Do you think that's what it is? Yeah, it's got a poke. Yeah, you're right, man. Yeah, it's got a poke to it that um, you, I'm missing. I, well, technically, when these three are together, I feel you're missing from these other two as well. So um, obviously, they do their own. They do their thing. Obviously, you've got a back pickup with this jazz as well, which you can open up and combine with the neck, which does give you some fuller output sounds as well. But you know, there's loads of those. <laughs> you know, there's one way to look at it. There's loads of jazz basses with two big ups. This is pretty unique, and I say, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of slowly warming to this, um, and it's definitely got a, a mid punch to it, which I'm not too sure if it's all the pickup or if this ebony is adding some, some sort of punch there to it, but because otherwise, pretty standard. Say, all the maple, it's generally what you get on most Fender guitars and basses. So. It's cool. It's cool. It, you know, it does something different and it's in the range. So it definitely stands out. So there we are. You know, let us know what you think, please. You know, if it's, it, let us know what you think of the, the idea that if you get a chance to play one, if you can come down here, do that, that'd be brilliant. And let us know your thoughts. Is it something that you think that should be belonging in the, uh, in the current range? So there we are. I'll play something to see you out, but won't be that long. I'll leave you, love you and leave you to the rest of your day. So yeah, please join us again, subscribe, like, more bass videos up there or up there if you want to stick around. But otherwise, we'll see you very soon for more on All About The Bass. ta, -ta. Mm-hmm.